she is Colleagues in the media, uh, friends from all over, uh, good people of Ghana, thank you very much for joining us this afternoon at the forecourt of the Palace of the Gamanche and President of the Ga Traditional Council, Ni Taki Teikuchu II. We speak here this afternoon and welcome you under his authority. And you all do know the big task ahead of us are here in the Gaza State. As we build up to the final funeral rites of our beloved Queen Mother of the Gaza State, Na Dede Kumedru III, it is important that we lay a few things in terms of communication uh, and, of course, say a few things finally and give it finality so that everyone who is at the receiving end of this information will understand and also comply in accordance with our norms and our values as a people. So this afternoon, I wouldn't want to waste too much of the time. I'd like to immediately hand over to a member of the Central Planning Committee of this final funeral rite for our beloved Queen Mother to address all of us and give us clarity on certain questions that are being asked. But I'd like to acknowledge the presence of the chairman of the funeral planning committee for our late beloved Queen Mother, our chairperson, Ni Adoti Utinto, who is the same payment chair. Shall we put our hands together for him? We are also ably supported by our Queen Mothers and also the chairman of the protocol subcommittee of the funeral of our late Queen Mother, Ambassador Parker Aluti. So at this time, respectfully, I would like to hand over to a former Attorney General and a former Ambassador to Canada, who also is President of the Gadangwe Council and also serves very importantly and for the purposes of this afternoon as a member of the Central Planning Committee for the funeral of our beloved Ga Mani, Nadidi Umedu III. Shall we welcome Honorable Aikwe? But yesterday something dramatic happened. We heard that the court has granted some form of injunction. We, are, we then have not been served. We are not seeing the court. But fortunately, those of you doing the netizen, the netizen started posting it all over. So we had wind of it. We, we cited it. We read it. And we were satisfied that it had got nothing to do with what we are doing. Here. But the point is that you are dealing with so many people. And uh, you don't know how people understand issues. The understanding for some of them is that, ah, yala, cafe, don't. Why, again, yala, cafe, don't. What do you feel? I feel, 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 I feel,
In other words, the funeral is no longer coming on. You know, when you do this sort of thing, you discourage people. And you know, we, we, we worked. We've had people coming to sign book of condolence. We, 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 we've spent so much time, money, expense, traveling, going about, informing dignitaries, prominent chiefs, politicians, to come and mourn with us. All these people are holding themselves in readiness to come, only for that bombshell to be released. So we have to go to court today to deal with the matter once and for all. And that is why I've been chosen to speak with you. We were in court this morning. We argued against the injunction that was granted. We asked that it be set aside. And at the end of the day, we had this other bit which we want to share with you. Upon reading the affidavit filed by the applicants and imposed to by the first defendant applicant, and upon hearing I put to a square, counsel for defendants applicants, I am of the view that the order of interim injunction granted on 25th October 2023 was made in error. The applicants failed to give the court the true state of affairs. In fairness to the parties, therefore, the order of interim injunction granted on 25th October 2023 is hereby set aside. Any party desires a proceeding we come on notice to the other party for a proper evaluation for a proper evaluation of the evidence from both sides. Now the importance of this is that the order that people are misinterpreting has been set aside. So there's no order anymore, anywhere, which anybody should even worry his head trying to interpret. What we have here is that the order has been set aside and we, we have we have every right to proceed and do what we told you we were doing. So this this is the position so far. On 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 Saturday, we believe that those prominent chiefs who have been invited may come with their entourage. Some of them may want to display. So we are calling upon you to give them every you know coverage that matters if you see them display. Display. We are all one. It's just a one country. And this is an opportunity for us to also sh showcase our history. I believe that uh, when you see our Russia, you see some of the historical accounts that have been uh, picked and you can take it from there. So we thank you so much for coming. And we believe that as partners in this uh, 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 endeavor, you would do your best to carry the news all over. In fact, yesterday, some of the information I was getting was coming from abroad. I was sitting here and I was getting information about orders that have been made in Ghana. So please, carry it. Let them also share. That's what they say. Share. You need to share. And let people know that there is no, nothing, no impediment in our way to organizing this uh, grand program and displaying the culture. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Can, can the media get the copies of